Hey, Dave here from the Tank Doctor. We're just out on site this morning. We're doing an installation of a FT300 UV freestanding filter system. This one's um, this one's awesome. You should see it. Um, the plumbing. Um, hmm. Have a look at the inlet to the water tank. <laughs> so I shouldn't be so mean. This place is going to be renovated and changed around. But I just I just find it amazing how people some people set up their places. Like this was. Um, that's the, the gutter into the pipe. <laughs> the pipe then goes down somehow um, into the, a water tank that's, yeah, concrete. But it's got a metal roof and it's on. That's the main thing. But I'd hate to see what's in there. Actually, wait a minute. No, our crew did actually clean the tank and it was just muddy and dirty. So luckily, I don't think they found anything really grotty. But when you have a look, here is their pressure pump. So it's a plastic whatever model. Don't know what it is actually, I've not seen one like that before, it's a bit strange looking, but um, that runs down through this amazing plumbing, and you can see down here the filter system that they have, awesome. It's just kind of like floating, so <laughs> there's nothing holding it, and this is even better. Check out this power point, it's just, yeah, nice and safe that is, and we've got, it looks like a, Probably a live wire there that's just got some tape on the end of it. Yeah, nice. Better not touch that one. You've got to be careful with this, but um, yeah, I'd suggest perhaps they get that replaced. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip out. We're going to rip out all of this unit filter, get rid of this. And what we're going to do is temporarily put a filter system, one of our units, just here on the pavers, if you call them that, bricks. And what, um, what we're going to do is uh, just to get, get it set up and working. The client's just requiring to have filtered water inside the house so that they've got clean, safe water while they begin the renovations. And then later they're going to move the filter unit and reinstall it in a more appropriate spot. Good thing about these freestanding models that we do is that they are fully transportable. So once you're finished with it here, you simply unplug the two water pipes in the power point, shift it over to where you want it, and then reinstall it so it's nice and easy. We've removed all of the old plumbing. You can see that filter unit there. This is all the stuff that was there. We've got our freestanding filter now just sitting on the ground here. This is where we're going to put it. So the beauty about these ones, as I've said before, is that we can remove them. So you can basically take them off site and pack them up and move them to a new location. And that's the biggest plus. We use these blue line fittings. This is the Plasson brand. Plasson is um, Israeli made, I believe. Really high end quality, top quality. So what we do is we put some thread tape on the threads. Uh, you don't really need to use sealant or glue, but if you just go round and round a few times, usually about I don't know, seven times, something like that on this, break it off, push it into the thread with these units, lift them up, put it on my toe or put it on the brick, wind this in, get the latch out of the way. This is how straightforward they are to install. Massively simple. Wind that in a heap of times so you can't turn it anymore. Like that. One more turn. Right. Nice and tight. And it goes like that. There we go. So there's your line going. Basically return line back to the house, drop that down. Now, blue line fittings. Why do I love them so much? Watch this. Here's your blue line. You get this at local hardware stores like Bunnings. I've got this little fancy tool. Call it, I call it the pencil sharpener. You spin it around like that. What it does is it deburs the end of the blue line. So when you get your fitting, loosen it off a bit, push it in, push it, turn it, done. That's a piece of plumbing, pipe work, finished. That simple. So you come around like this. We're going to tap it into that for the return line, line it up there, my wounded finger, like that, like that, same again, the old pencil sharpener, that's ready to go, and what we'll do is we'll line that up with that, and we're going to mine that over there, there's the return line going back into their house, move the unit out a bit, and a cut here, what I'm going to do is get the old pencil sharpener, put him in there, like that, it's deburred. Blue line fitting again, push it in. Right, line them up. We'll come down to the unit here. Loosen the fitting off a bit. Actually, I might go back up on my boot. 
it's nice and easy up there. Rest it on the old steel cap, like that. Put it in there. Shove that in. Wind that up. You just wind them up nice and tight till they're firm. Put the unit back down on the ground. Maybe you're climbing around a little bit. This fitting just touches the ground a little bit, so it will bend up a fraction, but there we go. See how simple that is? That's your return line for the unit going back to the house. That. So runs back around behind the unit, plumbed up. Now this unit, again, is only a temporary install. The client's gonna, gonna move this later on once they've done their reno on their property. There it is there, a triple freestanding unit installed. Just gotta do the inlet to the other side now. Normally what we do is we put these down on pavers for the client out in the paddock or backyard or wherever by the water tanks. Or sometimes they'll be clever and put a concrete slab down, which is even better. But concrete pavers, perfect base. And in this instance, we just put it on their back uh, bricked path. But these units are beautiful, top quality. Three mil stainless steel bracket, clear filter housings. And we've got over here the Viqua UV. Made in Canada, super high in quality, this stuff. Everything's done in stainless steel. Flush taps, isolation taps. We've got pressure gauges at the top. There's the ballast control box, which runs the UV chamber. There's your inlet pressure. And there's your isolation tap. So what I've done over here is we've come off the top of the pump with the, with blue line, this messy plump. Goes down here and goes across to the inlet there. Water arrives inside the unit, runs through, and as we saw before, goes round the back, comes back down here into, where are we, there we are, the return line, just down there, back into the house. Now, the, the electrical over here is Dodgy Brothers Central, so she, uh, the client is going to have that replaced. An AUV cord here, I told her, get it fixed first, put a double external power point on, and then we'll plug the UV in. Don't want that going in there until that's done right. So don't only damage the unit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open the inlet. We're going to let the water come in slowly. If it comes in too fast, it, it can wash a lot of mud in because it suddenly comes gushing in. And there is a bit of crap in the water there, so it's not awesome. Yeah, it's reasonable. It's a little bit tanniny. The tank's fairly low, so I'll let that fill slowly. What it's doing is it's coming out through the flush tap. This tap is designed to flush and purge air out of the unit. And I'll leave the one going to the house isolated for now, just so we get all the air out of the unit. So that's filling up, so we'll just give it a little bit more pressure and see if it washes any mud through. No, it didn't, that's pretty reasonable. So there's those clear filter housings in action. Really cool. That's filling stage one, the pleated cartridge. Now it's filling the spun cartridge up. And now the carbon block cartridge will be filled up the chamber. So normally what you'll do is run this unit for five or ten minutes to purge out all the air and give it its first flush. Now, where this is installed, it's going to basically fire straight into a house. So I'm not going to go too nuts with it. I'm just going to basically just get the air out of it for now. So once you get that water, you shut it off. All right, so it's filling, filling, it's filling up the UV chamber. Water's about to come gushing out of there. There it is, flush tap. So we shut that off. Then we go back to the house. So now the house is live. We'll open that right up. So we're at full speed. That's it, so fully plumbed. Going from the pump, and you'll see the pressure gauge at the top building pressure. We'll get out, should shut off around now. It's about 50 psi. A little pump like that probably won't make too much more than that. That gives you an inlet pressure of 50 psi. Across the other side, we've got an outlet of 50 psi. So it's great to tell you what your pump's making. And then across the filter system, if there's any problems with cartridges getting blocked, this gauge over here will have a lesser figure. It might have, say, 25 on it, and that's an indication that you've got a locked set of cartridges from mud. This being new, it will work at 50 across the whole thing. And then uh, through the UV, there's no flow or restrictions or anything on these sorts of systems. Being 25 mil pipe work, they flow really fast. Rightio, so now, poly cover. What do I do to put this on? Grab it at each end, just lift it up and over. Straight down over the top of the unit it's on like that and then you've just got your just your safety latch to keep it in place lock it on down on each side and this uh, poly cover is made of the same polyethylene that rainwater tanks are made of so it's super strong super good quality made for outdoors and this is what keeps your unit safe strong protected out of the weather and keeps it in darkness too so those clear housings don't see the sunlight brilliant
That's it there.